Hello everybody, what up, what up, what up? Young Brawlin here and Clash Royale on my main account. Currently at 64 or 3, guys, hit that new season highest. Uh, I want to show you the replays that got me up there. Um, this is one of them. This is a graveyard deck right here with the baby dragon. Uh, Dark Prince, Knight. Let's check out how this one played out, all right? It'll go into double elixir. Oh, the opponent starts off the game with the Dark Prince in the back. I have a lumberjack for that in that same lane. Let's see how this plays out. Okay. I go with the Golem Knight, which play. And we see the barb hut here from the opponent. That's also another card that I don't really like going versus. It's the Barbarian Hut. Hey, the bats actually are staying alive from that poison. Uh, that's probably will change the game. Um, tempo here. We got the Barbarian Barrel here healthy. That's going to probably pick up a couple of hits at least. One, two. Oh, okay, almost got the third one in there. And now we just reset. Let me speed it up until... We got into that action. So the opponent started with the Dark Prince in the op in the right lane. We'll go with the Lumber. Same play that we did before. We'll just repeat it out. Now we see a Barb Hut here. And I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the... Golem in the back. All right. I go with the baby dragon right behind and then we just let it work it out right it's gonna take care of the barbarians and now i'm trying to bait the opponent's poison here you see i didn't go with the night witch rather i did um baby dragon and mega minion you see i nato everything closer to the baby dragon and the mega minion so that way we can uh do splash damage everything there we don't have to worry about because we took care of it when we did uh the NATO play here I'm not I can't do golem because that poison right there was gonna shut off the night witch play and the baby dragon so golem wouldn't have done much here you see I got the golem the rage from the lumberjack and I'm using that mega minion I'm thinking uh we'll take care of the golem barbarian barrel in there and the NATO to everything that way we don't have to respond to uh e -Wiz after and barbarians here comes a graveyard play from the opponent. Lumberjack, Night Witch for the Knight. And uh, we just want to try to hold this off. as uh, Try not to give it too much damage on our tower. All right. Over time, the graveyard is out of the cycle. So we can go with the golem play behind the king tower. The barbarians coming out here from the opponent. I go with the mega minion. Mega minion's going to take care of the barbarians here for us you know we're gonna need the lumberjack here i used the nato earlier this time and use the barbarian barrel on the uh barbs you know we easily took care of that no poison out from the opponent so that's because i didn't drop the night witch you see i held on to the night witch and all the plays i did before the poison shut off the night witch play and this time I'm using the Rage, using the two baby dragons and the Lumberjack and the Night Witch, you know, trying to sneak in a play to the tower. But none, none worked out. But now we're into the triple elixir. I have to defend against these right here. Baby dragon for the graveyard. And uh, we could go with the golem play now. Barbarian Hut drops out from the opponent. I have to go Lumberjack. Barbarian Barrow, nicely cleaned out that NATO early using the Baby Dragon Splash damage. We're gonna, we got the Rage here from the Lumber, so you just kind of spam everything here. And Triple Elixir, we got 30 seconds left into this overtime game. Um, if we don't take care of this tower, this game will be decided by a tiebreaker. And in tiebreaker, whichever player has less damage on their tower loses the battle all right so we keep pushing you know i'm trying to get the lightning value in there 1124 on that tower i hit the tower 
but I didn't get the E Wiz. But still, that tower is at 678 and one second left in the game, and we win by a little bit of the damage on that tower. You see, we had more damage left on our tower, so we won. So whichever player has less on their tower loses in overtime or in tiebreaker. So that was a good game. That one brought me to 63 something something. And then uh, these are not ladder. I got these couple couple of those right here with the Mega Knight and the Hog Rider. Let's check out this one and one above it. Let's speed it up a little bit. Go into when the game started. While that's going on, I want to make sure that we're still recording. Yeah, we're looking good. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, it's, so it's been a minute and no move was made from uh, either of us. Well played, well played. So a minute, 30 seconds, no move made. I believe I started this game. There we go. So Barbarian Barrel starts off the game. The opponent goes with the Archers. I thought it was an Expo deck, but it's not. Then I saw Ewiz and I was thrown off by it. Like Ewiz and Archers, I don't usually see that. So this is an off meta deck. I don't want to go Golem just yet, I, even though I could have in Double Elixir. But I just don't know what the opponent's using. I want to try to figure it out. Here comes uh, Skeletons and Baby Dragon. I cycle a Barbarian Barrel. And using the Rage here from the Lumber to shred down the Baby Dragon and uh, try to push through to get hits on the tower. It didn't work out. But I go with the Golem back there because we want to make sure that the Infernal Dragon is out of there we don't have to worry about that night which will hold that off for a bit while we take care of the hog rider and uh here baby dragon should take care of the inferno dragon that was the uh whole point of it to stay behind the golem lightning right there cleans out um he was for us that let the golem go straight through the tower we nato to um keep everything together now we're over time right we have the momentum going as well we have a little bit of the elixir lead so we go with the night witch play i wanted to get the baby dragon to lock on to the golem not the tower but that's fine we have a lightning in our cycle now so if we need to hit this right now inferno dragon we can do that right away that way we can get the golem through to the tower and i nato to make sure everything after we don't have to respond to basically no more counter push from our opponent here and you see that damage done to that tower because that rage being there now all i have to do is cycle back to lightning and get a lightning on that tower should be a good game all right let's check out the last game here that brought me to 6403. It's against a Lava Hound Balloon E Dragon Inferno Dragon deck. So let's see how this worked out. I'm gonna just speed it up a little bit. So the opponent starts off the game with the Lava Hound in that corner, top left corner. I go with the Golem behind the King Tower. All right. Now I don't make any move just yet because I wanna see what the opponent would support this with. Nothing. So I go with the Night Witch right there that way it avoids any spell damage or spell on our tower and we can use the bats to uh take care of the lava hound i do a baby dragon onto the opponent's baby dragon and i nato everything together to make sure that we don't have to respond to all that and you see our golem actually got through to the tower and that is cool here i tried to use the inferno mega minion on the inferno dragon but look at how much damage that actually picked up 298 left on our tower i did not think it was gonna go that ham on our tower there on the left side but it's cool because we picked up the left side and we got the inferno well electro dragon out from the opponent so with that being out that's a defensive unit for the opponent's deck so if that's out of the cycle we have a better chance of uh, getting the golem through to this right tower. So I go with the same play with the night witch kind of back there because we don't want the... If the night witch is close to the golem, baby dragon and Valkyrie will do splash damage. And uh, we don't want that happening. That's why you try to keep that distance in the golem and the night witch. And the opponent goes to the baby dragon. 
and uh, Inferno Dragon on defense. And now I go on defense as well because um, we don't want that to be supported by anything crazy. And I know that the Night Witch was there doing a lot of damage. So we held the side down on the right, didn't get too much damage on that tower. But good thing is we picked up a lot of damage. So now I'm just cycling in the back behind King Tower. The opponent does arrows on the left side to get that tower. And you see here, I got back into the lightning. I lightning the Electro Dragon. Lumberjack gets through to the tower, picks up the right side. And now I'm just trying to make sure that we can defend the right here. The Lava Hound is gone. Baby Dragon is basically taking care of this Valkyrie right here. I have a Mega Minion for it as well as Lumberjack to stop that from getting any hit on our tower. And at this point, I can just cycle on offense and go for the three crown. So this was the one that got me into 6403. This was a finale. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the future one. Brawling out. Peace, guys. Take care.